friends today we'll solve read code problem which says that distribute coin in a binary tree the statement says that given the root of a binary tree with node n each node in the tree has value node.val coins and there are n coins in all in one move we may choose two adjacent node and move coin from one node to the another node the move may be from parent to child or from child to parent return the number of moves required to make every node have exactly one coin so this is one example where you have this uh, node which is the parent node has value 3 and both the child has value 0 so we require two moves from this node we transfer one coin to this child and one coin to this particular child the second example is a uh, little tricky so here the parent node has no coin and one of the leaf has three coin so we can transfer one coin from here to the node the parent node and another coin we need to transfer it to the parent node and then from parent node to the child node so this involves three moves so this is the problem that we are going to solve let's solve the idea here is that once we reach the leaf we need to find that how many excess coin that particular leaf has or the leaf node has so in this particular case if we see that it is supposed to have one coin but it has three coin so it has excess of two coins if i see this particular leaf so it is supposed to have one coin but it has zero coin so it has a deficit of one coin so in general it requires one coin which will require at least one move from its parent to this particular child if we consider this node so this one also has zero and it needs to have at least one uh, one coin here so it is in a deficit of one so overall we see that this will give away two coins and these two will accept one one coin so how we can solve this let's look at the description these guys have given at the lead code so in dfs it says that if the leaf of the tree has zero coins an excess of minus one so in place of deficit of one it says that and it is considering it as an excess of minus one so in that case we should push a coin from its parent onto the leaf if it has four coins so it means it has excess of three so we should push three coins of the leaf to the parent in total the number of moves from that leaf or from its parent is, is excess of, equal to whatever the number of coins that uh, leaf node contains minus one so let us uh, let us use this technique and uh, let us try to solve the problem so here we can say that in tower answer is equals to zero and uh, finally we will return this answer return the answer okay and we will do a dfs with the root so here i will say private int dfs and it will take tree node as the root and uh, here we will put a check if the root is equal equal to null so i will return zero otherwise we will go down and we will have a left side of dfs so this will go root dot left and we will have a right side of dfs so this will be dfs of root dot right so once suppose this is the tree so from here we went left and we went right so when i went left here so how many coins do i need to offload from here or uh, is two so i need to say that whatever my answer is so my answer is equals to whatever i get from left and it will be math dot absolute value uh, of left plus math dot absolute value of right okay and what we need to return from here so if i am here so i need to return the whatever value of uh, the node that is present here if it has some child that is on the left and right side so how many extra point that we get from the left and the right minus one which means that i need to keep one coin here so it will be root dot value plus the left plus the right and minus one so if 
if I start from this 0, so the root equal to null, it is not equal to null. So I will go towards left. So I go towards this side. So next, uh, this is a value 3. Now there is no left and there is no right for this. So for left and right, I will get 0, 0 and my answer will be 0 till, till this point, till I reach this leaf node 3. Now what I return from 3 is, I return the root value which is 3 plus left which was 0 plus right which was 0 minus 1. So I return 2 from here which means this leaf node should contain 1 coin and it should give away 2 coin. So I return 2 from here. It means that the left of this 0 is 2 now and if I go to the right of this 0 or the root node, so this is again, uh, this node is of value 0 and there is no left and right to this. So for this particular node, what I will return from here will be root dot value which is 0, the left and right will be 0 and minus 1. It means that this root needs one coin. So I will return minus 1 from here. It means that there is one move that is required so that this achieves a value of 1. Now for this particular uh, node 0, my left is 2, my right is 1. So number of moves that becomes is absolute value of left and absolute value of right. Why we are taking absolute value is even though the deficit is 1, it requires one move. So that is why we will take absolute value. So it will be 2 plus 1, 3. So our answer currently will be 3. So till 0, the value will be 3 and from here I will just return the root dot value which is 0. Left will be 2, right will be minus 1 and this will be minus 1 which is 0. So I will return from here and finally I will say my answer which is 3. So let us run this. So oh, I am doing these stupid mistakes. So this is fine. <coughs> and it should be accepted. Yeah, it is accepted. I hope the explanation was pretty clear. Do let me know if there is any confusion regarding the explanation. Put it in the comment section. Let me know how you solved this particular problem. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.